The American Society of Echocardiography's new DVD on transthoracic echocardiography is entitled How to Perform a Transthoracic Echocardiographic Study, Volume 1, Transducer Position and Anatomy. This DVD includes a 30-minute instructional video and an interactive section for flexible presentations. The video includes an overview of relevant cardiac anatomy, step-by-step -step presentation of all transducer positions, and the sequential transducer movements to acquire standard echo images needed to complete a transthoracic echocardiographic study. The cardiac anatomy section visualizes relationships of the heart, ribs, axis of the heart, planes of the heart and aorta, chambers, valves and annuli, and blood flow through the heart. The transducer position menu allows the user to view the anatomical landmarks and the transducer positions for left parasternal, apical, subcostal, and suprasternal image acquisition. The views and imaging menu allows the user to navigate from a particular transducer position menu such as left parasternal long to specific images acquired within that window such as PLAX high depth, PLAX low depth, and PLAX zoom of the aortic and mitral valves. Each animated loop shows a finder image in the upper left that depicts the transducer position, an illustration of the sectional anatomy of the heart on the left, and the echo image with labels on the right. Please enjoy this clip from the DVD, and be sure to visit asemarketplace.com for more information. The first view is simply called the parasternal long view. To acquire this view, the transducer indicator is aimed to face the patient's right shoulder. From the perspective of the sonographer, we will now demonstrate the relationship of each of these three views. The parasternal long view will be our starting point. The transducer is tilted towards the patient's left shoulder to allow the acquisition of the right ventricular inflow tract, or RVIT view. Notice that the indicator is still pointing towards the patient's right shoulder. Finally, and starting again from the parasternal long view, the transducer is angled towards the patient's right hip to acquire the right ventricular outflow tract, or RVOT view. Notice that the indicator is still pointing towards the patient's right shoulder. Now we will look at each view to demonstrate the anatomic structures visualized. Notice that in this parasternal long axis view, the aorta is labeled in both the animated heart and the clinical image. On the left image, we can see how the parasternal long plane cuts the aortic valve, labeled AOV, and the mitral valve, labeled MV. The left ventricle is labeled LV, and the left atrium, LA. We hope you enjoyed this clip from the DVD, and be sure to visit asemarketplace.com for more information.